Good evening, Sagittarius. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. This reading is for Sagittarius from the 2nd of November until the 8th of November. I am busy choosing your crystal mineral oracle card for you in the process. Thank you for visiting my channel. I will be doing here general readings, weekly, monthly, love readings. I would suggest and recommend that you check out your sun, moon and rising sign um, on the astrology. And then I would also recommend you check out your north node um, because the north node will guide you on your current life path i will put the links in the subscription box below remember this is general energies general readings it will not resonate with everyone so what resonates for you take and leave the rest okay so let's see mineral Gemstone, crystal card for Sagittarius. Kerusite, Kerusite, Serusite, travel, root and crown chakras. So there's definitely travel on the horizon for you, Sagittarius. Okay. So let's check your spirit oracle cards. What do you need to know regarding messages, guidance messages for Sagittarius? From, okay, so you've got, wow. Okay, so let's just put this together. I'm going to read this for you. Soul power. Always remember your soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. So, what this is telling me, let me just hold it like this so you can see. Um, is do not disconnect from your soul your soul has got a purpose you have a purpose and if you are run down and tired your soul will supply you with enough power to continue this is beautiful let's see why does your angel guidance your angel cards want to tell you your angel guidance. So let's see. Okay. Let's break the deck. Cut your cords. Archangel Michael, ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from the past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. I'm going to put that over there. Okay, so now let's see. Sagittarius. Sag needs to know from the 2nd until the 8th. What does Sag need to know from the 2nd? Okay, so you've got the 9 of Pentacles. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay. It looks like a very positive, abundant reading. 
so far. So let's see. Guidance for Sagittarius from the 2nd until 8th. Two of Cups. Let me see. It's brilliant. It's okay. Guidance for Sagittarius. 2 until the 8th. Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay. This looks really abundant and beautiful and very positive for the week from the 2nd until the 8th of the Sagittarius. So let's see. You guys are definitely going to travel. Going somewhere. Again. Strengthen your gifts. This is now the third time this card has come out. Okay. So, let's quickly see. Okay. You are definitely traveling somewhere. Maybe a lot of you are going away for a weekend or some retreat somewhere, yoga retreat, family, going to visit family. So this is telling you you're going to travel. Soul power says you've been a bit run down and you're tired. That's a white dove. That's normally peace. Um, tap into yourself your higher self with your own power if you feel run down because you will get the necessary information that you require within yourself that can be if you have a situation that's currently bothering you with your angel guidance it says cut the cords with the boss so there's something there relationships work friendships that you need to clear it out like clearing out your closet cut the cords and move on from destructive patterns so with the nine of pentacles it seems that you are abundant within yourself there's messages coming in you are financially okay you've got everything you wanted you at this type of stable time in your life and you are happy um, and you have achieved a lot to be within this energy you've worked very hard to get here then with the ten of cups it says that you've got stability happy home happy family life happy relationships so this is also a very abundant card. This can also mean emotional abundance, financial abundance. Then you've got the Two of Cups. This is a divine connection. Um, this can either be um, lovers, relationship, marriage, um, even with a job, having a good relationship there. Two of Cups is basically understanding each other. Um, you are in balance, you are in harmony, you are happy um, with whoever you are maybe in a relationship with. If it's like a marriage or family, but you are happy and it's balanced. There's balance with the two of cups. So it's overflowing with emotional 
abundance, um, financial abundance. So with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a very positive card and this is new opportunities coming in. Um, also messages coming in. This is also a very abundant card financially, material items wise. But I would suggest there's a fox in the card. In, in the tarot it says just check behind you. Don't just agree to agree. Check what's going on around you but this is very positive for you. You see the moon as well. So with the moon there and the fox, it's telling you, let me just put it like this, with the moon and the fox, it's telling you, yes, there is abundance in financial, emotional relationship. But with the moon and the fox, it's telling you, check your back. Just check what's going on around you, observe. Then, <coughs> excuse me, with the seven of cups, this is presenting you with so many options. There's so many options to choose from. And you can maybe feel a bit confused because there's opportunity coming your way. A new work, new home, new life coming your way. And you feel a bit, um, what's the word, disarray. Not sure what to make of all the decisions and options coming your way that's why with this that you're feeling um, disarray confused with decisions presenting itself it's telling you to travel and retreat go off uh, if you need to travel these the what the Sagittarius people that are going to travel practice meditation Practice mindfulness. Think it through. Because you will require to make a decision here with all these options presenting to you. And maybe if you are, as per year, in a stable environment, stable relationship, home, family, um, with the retreat, you can get to the conclusion and the travel to get the decision you need to make. But be a bit wary of um, deceitful people, untrustworthy people. And then this is strengthening your gifts. What I've said to, I think... Libra and Scorpio got this card as well. What I've said to them is um, your angel guides, spirit guides want to communicate with you. And what they normally do is they communicate with you in your dreams sometimes or by signs and symbols. So be on the lookout signs and symbols like for example 11 11 um, butterflies it's just giving you a heads up so yeah I hope this could help cut the cords have a good evening afternoon morning chat soon